mean, it's great. It's always good to start off with the win. Um, you know, I just think the team competed really hard today. Um, I think we played well together, and I just think it gives a lot of energy for the you know the rest of the season and the next games coming up. I would just say that uh, I'd appreciate our fans for coming. I know it's a late game. Uh, we really appreciate that, and we hope that we're going to see them more and in a, in a bigger number uh, d down the road. You guys obviously started with mostly your, your regular starting unit that you had last year. What, is it nice to be able to kind of have the same guys that you've been playing with and, and kind of are familiar with just to kind of get up from the jump? Uh, well, that, that's true, yeah. Uh, keeping the pretty much the what was late in the year uh, starting five and the, the core of the team, the, the guys that know uh, values, uh, the culture of the team and what, what coaches want, and it was just easy to uh, translate that to, to the other guys. And they, they want to learn. They want to get better as well. So it was, it was, a, it was a great thing for us whole, whole summer. And since we, since we got together, it's been, it's been great for us. Brandon, how difficult of a prep was this just given it's a first-year head coach over there and he wasn't coming from the collegiate ranks? How, how, how tough was that? I mean, it was a lot different than we ever had before because we had like, no scout on them except for like, some personnel clips or like, a shooter, left hand right hand like what stuff like that and so we got we got really good at knowing like people's tendencies but yeah we have no idea on how they ran things we you know we just kind of had to go off of just what we've heard and stuff like that and so it was just a lot different but I think we the team did a really good job of just like walking in and just kind of just coming out and ready to go. Lazar were there any like questions about this team that you went into the game going in with that were kind of answered for you, maybe any doubts you might have had? Uh, I mean, this game was a little different, like he said. We, we had no idea what was going to happen <coughs> with opponents. <coughs> like, about but about us, yeah. it's, I mean, we have a, the thing that we know is that we have a really long bench, and our depth is amazing. Uh, we have a 10, 11, 12 guys that, that can play. We have Marco is out, Luca is out. Uh, they bring a lot to our table, too. So, I mean, we have a ton of guys that can play, they can compete, uh, and when, when you have a long, long, depth, like long, long bench like that, you got to be ready to go um, all the time. you got to use your chances. But I think everybody that stepped on the court did their job tonight, and I think we played great as a team, especially in the second half. You kind of answered a little bit, but how would you assess maybe the new guys that have joined the team and kind of how they played in that first game? I mean, I think they did great. I think, I mean, I remember, I can't believe it's my senior year already, but I remember when I was a freshman, you used to have those first game jitters, a little nervous, and I think, uh, you know, you could see it a little bit in some of the guys, but I think overall they just competed hard. Um, and they just, they're just great skilled players and their you know, athletic will and, and Cable just came in and did their role and did, um, did their job. Brandon, does Cable bring a different element to the table in terms of, like his defensive presence at the rim that maybe you guys haven't had previously? Yeah, I think definitely, you know, he's just, you know, he's not as tall as you would think when you, you see him, he's only 6'8", six, 6'9", six, but, you know, he's just freakishly athletic and he's really good at just timing it up and he's not, he doesn't, it's always good to play against him too because he's never one to just jump at ball fakes too, he's very good at just knowing when to, to go and contest and so it's been, you know, a good um, addition for us for sure. It's it's not a new thing. He was protecting it pretty good last year too. It's, it's, it's not a completely new thing. <laughs> Brandon, it seems like you've you've tried to add some more physicality to your game this year. Is that if, am I missing that, or or do you feel like that's kind of where you're trying to emphasize this year? Or? Yeah, definitely. I just think you know I've had a lot of talks with all the coaches and different uh, my teammates for sure, and just like just getting the ball in the post more for me, and just making plays out of there, um, and just yeah, being more physical and just. Kind of, I think last year I kind of played a lot soft some games. Some games I came in ready to go. And so I think that's just been one of my uh, bigger mindsets that I've had. It's just to be more physical. Any other questions for student athletes? Thanks, fellas. Thank, thank you, guys. Thanks, fellas. I do want to thank our fans for coming out tonight and uh, and the Mus for coming out tonight. You know, when you start at 9 o'clock, it can be difficult for a lot of different people, certainly, including you guys. Um, and I do want to thank our administration. You know, it's it's a hard – tomorrow's a mandatory day off with Election Day for the NCA, and so it is – it's a it's difficult. Like, when, there's a million things going on at this time of year. So for, the, for our administration to allow 
the men and the women both play, that matters. Um, so um, thank them and all the workers for pulling this thing off um, today. Uh, it was a good win for us. I thought there were some very, very good things tonight. Um, I thought we had a really good start, a little bit of a lull, and then we made a big run to go up 27 to 11, um, where we were really defending. And I think we had, uh, I believe we had five kills in the first 10 minutes, which means three straight stops. We did that to start the game right away, four or five straight stops. And then we had that one run where I believe they, or they had that one run where they went on, was it 11-0 run? And we just had that one group, and I just thought we were, it's amazing. You take some bad shots, a couple turnovers, and it feeds right into them where we don't guard the ball, don't get back in transition. Their best shooter, 24, sticks a big, you know, a deep three. We have to call the timeout and, uh, and just really challenge our guys. I thought we steadied the ship to end the first half. Um, but we, you know, um, just talked, Matt, uh, quite frankly, with our guys at halftime at some, some simple adjustments that we needed to make, and I thought we did. Uh, I believe we scored our first six possessions in the second half. Um, you know, Gabe hit the big three the first possession we had it, and then we get the ball out of bounds, and he gets fouled, right? It makes all three free throws, um, and then we just took off. I thought our press was effective for a while, and then they then they got on attack with it, and we kind of created some easy offense, but that was part of what we, I mean, we just want to get them sped up. Um, and then I credit our guys. It's difficult. Rod Strickland's going to do a great job there. Uh, they got a lot of new guys, new coach. We had no idea. I got, I, I've told the guys after the game, I mean, I've been doing this 27 years and 12 as a head coach. I don't ever recall going into a game where we didn't have walkthrough. Like, because we literally had no clue what they were going to do. Because, you know, Coach Strickland hasn't been in, in college basketball for, I think, four years. And so you're just kind of kind of guessing, right? And so you got to be on point with a lot of different things. And I thought our guys – um, did a good job of adjusting. Obviously, BC was outstanding tonight, really carried the load, 21-10. and 10. Um, You know, Ben Carlson uh, with a career-high 11 rebounds, and, and we knew we needed to add more size, and you see it in a game like tonight where those two guys specifically really own the glass. And then you see the rim protection with BC and Kaba, right? What do we have, eight blocks? Is that right? Seven or eight block shots, um, I think, is what we had. So... Uh, I thought we got a lot of good performance. I thought Raleigh was just really, really sound again. I thought Mike Saunders really gave a great spark for us and, and had a, a very good floor game um, while he was out there. Game got going, of course. Um, so it was fun to see. I thought it was a great team effort. I mean, we had, it's not many times, you know, at 37 points we had off the bench. Hold them to 32%, uh, including 25% in the second half. So. That's what we're going to have to do to win, and the way win the way we need to do is be able to finish games like that. So it's a solid start. As you mix and match lineups and try to see what works, did you learn anything tonight about this group that maybe you didn't know prior? Um, that's a good question. You know, uh, I do feel certainly more sound. You know, um, continuity is an amazing thing, and we didn't get – much continuity a year ago, and now we're <laughs> missing a couple guys in Tarlock and Anthony today. You know, today. So the good news is this: all this summer we were practicing with 11 and 12 guys a lot. So it's almost like we're just used to plug and guy, plug and play, right? And so, you know, oh, the other guy I didn't talk about was Will. I thought Will was really, really good for a true freshman. His very first game, I think he was pumped up. His dad flew in for the game, so that was exciting. Um, but I thought he had a great game in every facet. Um, so my point is, yeah, I think we're learning definitely some different things with our lineups and who's going to play well with one another. And then part of it too, Josh, is just going to be like who we're playing and what we need. Are we weak defensively and good offensively? Are we sucking on offense? Why are we sucking on offense? Are we not passing the ball, sharing the ball, right? Are we playing two one-on-one? -on -one? You know what I'm saying? And so being able to balance out some of our lineups with – where we don't have all of our scores on at one time and then have no scores, right? And just, but that's the beauty of this team. I do think we have some flexibility and versatility to play a lot of different ways. You, you touched on it with that. With obviously, you have your veteran guys, and generally, as your starters, Ben was in there who hadn't been on the Bulls team, obviously. But how, how do you assess that and the performance of just being able to have a second unit that you can trust and, and keep moving forward? With? Well, I really trust our, I mean, I trust our whole team. And so I don't look, I'm not sure there's a lot of difference. People want to say starters and bench, and I get that. 
I, I guess I don't really look at it like that with this team because I do think we have a lot of depth and we have guys that bring different things to the table and I don't see a lot of drop off if that makes sense and in some ways might even be better so um, that stuff will all work itself out right we have so much newness to this team um, it'll naturally work itself out but we've had all summer with them and we've had six weeks with them you know, before the first game. But certainly I do feel like we've learned a lot from the secret scrimmage to the exhibition game to game one. Marco had a little setback from Friday to now. Yeah, so I know when we did the post game after the Westminster, uh, he did practice on Friday and was unable to practice on Saturday and Sunday and obviously not playing today. And so we'll see what happens here. But he may miss some a little bit of time. Luca, well, we'll see. He had uh, a lower leg injury, and then uh, you saw he wasn't on the bench tonight. He's just um, not feeling well, and I promise that's what it is. <laughs> Mike Saunders, yeah. Also apparently, didn't feel well the last couple of days. How, just yeah, I mean, it's going around, right? Like, I mean, our doctor told um, when Luca went in to the doctor, and when Mike went in because Mike missed Mike missed practice on. My days are all screwed up. Today is Monday. Um, Mike missed practice on Friday and was pretty so-so on Saturday. And, and Sunday he looked just his face, and today he looked normal again. So, like, it's amazing how you can tell, right? You just look at somebody. People might accuse me of being sick all the time, the way my face looks, but that's just part of life. So, but it is going around, and that's what Trevor Jameson, who's been here 24 years, just talked to our team about it. I mean, there's a lot of things going around right now in terms of sickness. So, got to be smart. Got to take care of business, and that's it's that time of year. Just how I guess with his play on the floor, just coming, considering all of that over the last couple of days before he's had to go through it, and then Mike, to see him out on the floor. And just... Mike, I thought Mike had a great game today. Uh, really had a good floor game, uh, making great decisions. Mike's come a long way. Mike, Mike's, I mean, you can see how quick and explosive he is, right? I mean, he can do some things that are hard to teach. Uh, and you can see what he can do on the defensive end. Like, he really, I thought, disrupted them, specifically the second half. Like, I thought he really impacted the game with his ball pressure and his defense and then just his ability to get two feet in the paint, uh, which he can do at a high level. So he's making a lot of the right plays, coming off the ball, you know, not dribbling too much. His turnovers have been, like, he's really lowered that and, and improved his decision-making that way. And, as we know, basketball is a game of multiple efforts and decisions, and he did both of those tonight. Last couple more. Is the interior defense something that you want to get better at? It seemed like it seemed like Alex was getting into the lane a few too many times. Yeah, we you know we always tell our big guys you got to get your work done early, right? You got to be able to get your work done early, anticipate things, and take some of those passes away. Although in some cases tonight, um, that wasn't a concern. You know what I mean? And so um, we played a lot of one-on-one -on -one in the post today. You still got to keep getting better in that respect, our guys. Um, um, we just got to continue to play with more physicality uh, in that respect. But you're right. They did, especially early on, they pounded it in there. But it didn't really hurt us, right? And so we don't want to build bad habits. But um, we were OK with that. Yeah, I mean, Cave going to Cave has got a uh, bright future. You can see just his I mean, his he's plays with he has electricity. Like you can hear the crowd when he does certain things and certainly his ability to protect the paint, his rim protection is really really good. Uh, I think he's a great screen and roll defender. Uh, he's an excellent rebounder. Uh, he's just an energy guy and a tough guy and a gator guy. And and he's got a better offensive game than then maybe shows, but what did he, he still ended up with what uh, three of six, you know, three of five, six, six points. Um, but he just, I just think he he brings a certain element of energy to our team. And as a true freshman, you know, he'll keep growing with that part of it. But really excited to see where he's going to be in a year or two.